welcome to the sharepoint journey this is devendra velikandla in this lesson we will learn about what are feature receivers and what are the types of feature receivers which are available so we have seen how to develop a features in one of the previous lessons okay so now a feature receivers helps you to execute some of the code when you activate a feature or if you want to perform some action while deactivating the feature through code or object model then you'll use these feature receivers and you have different types of feature receivers while activating the feature you want to execute certain piece of code okay and let's say you want to create a list using server object model okay by this time i hope you know what is server object model as well that also has been covered in one of the lesson okay so you can use feature activated method and during feature deactivation method you can delete that functionality which you have created while activation okay and the same thing if you want to perform something on feature installed you can do it feature uninstalling you can perform something and one more receiver is feature upgrading let's say you have one functionality which you have provided with the feature and you are upgrading that feature and you want to add few more functionalities to the existing feature then you'll go with feature upgrading event if you see this screenshot we have seen how feature.xml looks and what exactly it talks about it specifies what what is the title of the feature and what is the description what is the id what is the scope of that particular feature now in this case if you add a feature receivers then you will have a receiver assembly and receiver class attached to that so you have code placed for that particular feature so we'll see a simple demo how a feature receivers will come into picture so in this case what we'll do is we'll just update the site title and we'll see how to deploy those feature receivers using visual studio 2013 So let's go ahead and open Visual Studio, and we'll create a project for to see the example of feature receivers. So to create a new project, click on File, New, Project. And under SharePoint Solutions, select SharePoint 2010 Empty Project, and name this one as Feature. receiver okay so click okay by default always microsoft suggests to develop sandbox solutions okay we'll go with the sandbox solution itself and click on finish to create the project okay so it creates the empty project for sharepoint 2010 okay now the project has been created now we have features folder here so i'm going to add one feature okay so this this is a sandbox solution okay and i'm going to keep the scope of this feature is a web and i'll keep this title as feature receivers okay working with feature receiver and i'll give the same description as well okay now we have created feature so far okay, and i'll replace this title of the feature also working with feature receiver now if i want to add a feature receiver for this feature what i have to do is i have to right click on this feature and we have to click on add event receiver so they are not calling it as a feature receiver but it's whenever you activate or something happens this particular uh, event is going to fire so i'll click on that okay now feature receiver has been added for this particular feature now you can see one cs file has been added here now by default if you see here you will get this particular class has been inherited from sp feature receiver class okay and you can see feature activated method feature deactivating method and installed method uninstalling method and upgrading method so 
to just test this I'll uncomment feature activated okay and this is at scope this feature is scope of web okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a simple uh, code which will change the title of our site now let's go and see what is the title of this site title of the site is SharePoint iPhone journey exclamatory so what I'll do I'll first to change the title okay of this particular site site is nothing but SP web object I have to create a SP web object I'll create SP web object okay web equal to what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this using properties of this particular feature parent so this feature parent is a SP web because this is scope that web level that is site level okay so if you change the scope to site collection then it has to be casted to SP site okay that you have to remember now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what are the properties which are available you have plenty of properties I'm going to concentrate on title now so I'm going to change this title of the site as SharePoint hyphen journey dot com okay this is what I'm going to do and to make the update I'll say web dot update as simple as that now in the first line I got the instance of SP site okay on which the feature is running then I am up setting the text of SharePoint journey dot com to the title and updating the web okay let's save everything now even I want to see the debugging also okay so to debug this particular case what we have to do is we have to go to feature project properties okay and here active deployment configuration I'm gonna change it to no activation okay so when you set no activation it will not activate any features to do the same thing I'll go to features I'm going to change this activate on default to false so what happens is whenever you deploy this particular project using Visual Studio it builds this project create a package and deploys it but it doesn't activate any feature that is the main purpose so during the activation of this feature what we can do is we can debug using this debug method that's the main purpose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this okay you can see in the output window what is happening it's keeping the application pool because it's a sandbox solution it is added the solution and it has deployed the solution but it didn't activate the feature okay so we have spoken uh, in the first lesson itself what is the advantage of CKS development tools for Visual Studio now we'll see now I right click this we have quick deploy option here just choose that and attach user code process okay not IAS worker process this is a sandbox solution and it will run under user code process so to debug this particular solution you have to use user code process so just select that okay now we all know that where the solution will get placed if I go to site actions site settings under galleries you can find the solution which has been deployed under solutions this is the our WSP package which has been placed on solution gallery once we deploy it and it has been activated also now we have developed a web feature to see the web feature go to site settings under site actions click on manage site features okay we named our feature name as working with feature receiver and if we activate it has to change the title of our website so I'm gonna click on activate now see the breakpoint has been fired because we have attached the process and if I press F10 it will go to next next line and I can see all the properties of web that means SP web of that particular website so I can see the current title here SharePoint iPhone journey exclamatory then I'll press F10 now okay now it, we have applied SharePoint journey.com 
to make the changes on the database end we have to execute update method so let's execute this press f5 okay now if you come back here the feature has been activated i'll just refresh this you can see here the title has been changed to sharepointjourney.com okay so let's go ahead and stop the solution now what i want to do is now i have activated the feature now it has changed the title but if i deactivate the feature then it has to go back to the original state so where how the site looks that is how it always used to be so if you remember the feature functionality when you activate it provides some functionality when you deactivate it it removes that functionality which you have provided so what i'll do i'll just copy the same code paste it here and i'll change this title back to exclamatory ship engine exclamatory okay i'll deploy this okay if you want to see what is happening during the deploy you can see here again it's skipping the application pool it's retracting the solution so before retracting it has to deactivate the feature react retracting the solution deleted the solution then it has added the solution and deployed the solution back okay now if i refresh what happens is it will show the old one because the feature has been deactivated so just refresh it okay now what i'll do i'll go to site settings and site features okay i'll activate this feature it has been activated now it's showing sharepointjourney.com now let's go ahead and deactivate this okay click on deactivate deactivate this feature you can see here the the title has been changed to sharepoint journey exclamatory okay so this is how we will work with the feature receivers when we want to write some code with respect to i mean either when you are activating the feature or when you are deactivating the feature then the feature receivers will come into picture okay let's go back to the slides so we have seen how to build or develop those feature receivers in sharepoint 2010 using visual studio 2013 and we have seen how to deploy them using visual studio you can develop even uh, as a form solutions also especially in case of timer jobs when you develop the timer job and you want to attach the timer job add the timer job using while activating the features so during that time you will build a form level feature okay and which will be form level solution okay thank you for watching this session we'll see you in next lesson